everyone, and welcome back to Tokyo Tuesdays, the segment in which I head to the Tokyo Disney theme parks to sample and review every blast eatery. For our 11th episode, we're finally hitting up one of the popcorn carts, uh, Tokyo Disneyland's popcorn cart number three, because I am terrible at doing things in order. To find popcorn cart number three, you're going to head in through the World Bazaar and make the first left turn you're able to. Continue straight out of the World Bazaar, and after a quick dog leg to the right, continue on into Adventureland. Just a little bit past Pirates of the Caribbean, and directly in front of Cafe Orleans, you'll see popcorn stand number three on your right. Popcorn is the food to get, it would seem, at the Tokyo Disney Parks. More so the buckets than the popcorn. Each stand carries one of six flavors, with number three specializing in soy sauce and butter. I have seen lines as long as a 20 minute wait at some of these carts, if they are carrying a desirable bucket flavor combo. So it's not always the quick treat you might imagine. So I have gotten popcorn from the popcorn stand in front of the Cafe Orleans, which specializes, and by specializes I mean only has, soy sauce popcorn which I've never tried before. It smells mostly like popcorn. It looks like popcorn. Let's try this. Hmm. I think it needs more flavor. So far, I'm not the biggest fan just because it's not as fresh as I would have wanted. Like, it, I guess it wasn't the stuff that was coming directly out of the popper. The pieces that are absolutely covered in flavoring, I can actually taste the soy sauce flavoring in, and it's quite tasty, but for the most part, it's just slightly sweet, slightly salty popcorn. There's not a whole lot to it. It doesn't seem like much, it's not very hot. That could have something to do with the fact that it's very cold today and also very windy. So it might have been hot when I first grabbed it, but in the amount of time that it took me to find a place to sit down, and record, uh, the heat might have just all gone away. I don't know. But I used to work in a movie theater. I'm used to eating old popcorn. There's not a lot of flavor to it. I'm used to having more flavoring on my popcorn. If you have a more delicate palate than I do, which is most people, this will probably be plenty. Um, it's not stale popcorn by any stretch of the imagination. It's just not hot anymore which is disappointing. I am also not at all hot. I am quite cold, actually. So I'm probably gonna go home after this because it's because it's really cold today. And also I've recorded like four episodes worth of food already today and I'm really full. <laughs> it's good. I would personally, I would just put like three times the amount of flavoring on this that there that there is. And I think that I am alone in that. I think most people prefer to feel like they haven't been punched in the face with salt when they eat popcorn, and I do. So that's just me. Our first popcorn stand. How exciting. But how does it rate? Service. Service is a three out of five. Once again, this is a cart location, so there's very little interaction to base your rating off of. But for me, I was in line for about five minutes, which seems pretty obscene when you're considering that it's just popcorn. However, they kept the line moving pretty quickly. We were never just standing in line. It was pretty consistently moving forward. They had three people working for one cart. They had one woman who was making and dishing the popcorn. They had one gentleman who was at the cash register taking order. And they had a third woman who was actually taking the orders and delivering them to the people they belonged to. So it was quite the production just for popcorn. Uh, the gentleman who was taking the popcorn orders sort of got this expression of, oh no, uh, when he saw me coming up. Uh, but I like to think that we got through my order with uh, relatively little pain. I also like to think that he was very pleased when I had exact change. So yeah, it's a, it's a three out of five. Atmosphere, two out of five? Uh, I mean, 
The cart is very pretty, shiny even, uh, and they're going full force on their ye olde style, and I commend them for that, I really do. But then they've just plopped this cart in the middle of Adventureland with zero effort to mesh the styles of the two. And then on top of that, you have to contend with the fact that it is a very busy cart positioned in the middle of a very busy intersection. So you're constantly being jostled from all directions while you're waiting for your popcorn, and it's just kind of an unpleasant experience. So yeah. Price point. I'm probably a bit off on my perception of popcorn prices from my time spent in a movie theater work environment, but I tend to think that the prices here are pretty fair. Uh, $3.10 for a box of popcorn, uh, a flavored popcorn even, seems like kind of an okay deal. Uh, it is popcorn though, so you know that you could be getting more for that price. Uh, that said, a full box of popcorn, you can eat that as an adult and feel pretty full, or you could share it with a friend and each have a nice snack. So yeah, three ten. Which is to say, three out of five stars. The food itself. I'm gonna rate this a two out of five. The popcorn wasn't stale, but it was cold. And for flavored popcorn, I really couldn't taste the flavoring at all. I don't know, I'm hoping that either this is just me, or that other stands will have a higher ratio of flavoring on their popcorn, but as for this one, I really couldn't taste the flavoring. At all. Two out of five. Overall rating! Overall, this gives Popcorn Cart number three an average rating of 2.5 out of five, which seems about right. I haven't visited a lot of popcorn stands in the park, but I have to imagine that there are better ones out there. Two out of five. The lineup. With a 2.5 out of five, this slots popcorn cart number three in at ninth place, just below Mysterious Island Ice Cream. Uh, it does manage to beat out Delancey Catering on the cart service list, however, coming in at third place. So that's it for this week. Come back next week if you want to find out where I'll be then. If you have any comments or suggestions, feel free to leave those in the comments below. We'd love to hear from you. Give this video a big ol' thumbs up and subscribe to the channel if you like what we do. We'd surely appreciate it. You can find us on social media if that's more your thing. Uh, come back on Monday for a little Monday magic with Bottled Ginger, and I will see you next week for another Tokyo Tuesday.